Good morning, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. It's your girl Mia coming at you live this morning. Look here. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Today is Thursday. Now, Mia got one more day, honey, and I'm over the hump. Listen, I just came over here, came over here with a little bit of sauce. Look, look, I was looking all day yesterday, laughing. I'm telling you, I had a good day laughing yesterday. I was laughing all day yesterday. I know y'all saw that shit by Bow Wow getting knocked out. I know y'all did. Now, listen, that was just too funny. Now, and you know what I'm saying? What really made it funny was Bow Wow made a rebuttal to say, now, y'all know. Y'all know. I put that shit on my daughter. Y'all know it didn't go down the way, the way they saying it happened. Y'all know that. Y'all know that. Bow Wow, just admit it, honey. We all get knocked down sometimes. That's just admit it. You got sucker punched. The nigga KO'd your ass. You know what I'm saying? And then you need to get rid of that old fake ass security you got. The security team. Get rid of them. Shit, they scattered like eggs. You know what I'm saying? So soon, soon as old boy approach you, they scattered. You know what I'm saying? You were left there standing alone. I mean, come on now. You got to get better security. Get top flight. Shit, get you some top flight security. Because that security system you got right now, it ain't working for you. It just ain't working. And shout out to my girl. Shout out to my girl, Tamar. Now, me and Tamar, you know, she ain't my best people. You know what I'm saying? For those of y'all who like Tamar, kudos to y'all. Kudos to y'all. Tamar ain't never been a favorite uh Braxton of mine she's never been a favorite Braxton of mine Tony has always been my favorite Braxton but if I just you know kudos to her for just um I see last night she went on Instagram shaved off all her hair for a minute I thought she was going through something you know what I'm saying I'm like hold up hold up we got some Britney Spears shit going on you know what I'm saying hold up you know what I'm saying? Then I listened to what she said, you know, as to the reason why she was cutting off her hair, you know, due to the damage from the wigs and the weaves and all of that, you know, and then she admitted that uh, her sideburns and stuff, you know, she, they fell out when she lost a baby, you know what I'm saying? A little baby boy, you know what I'm saying? So she was struggling with that. So she shaved off all her hair. And then I guess, you know, I'm looking at it something positive. I'm looking at this, you know, in something positive, a positive way to say, you know what I'm saying? Maybe since things are changing in her life, maybe she decides to just purif purify herself, purify herself. Start with the top of her head, the crowning of her head, you know what I'm saying? All the way to the bottom of her feet, you know what I'm saying? So maybe that's her way of purifying herself. You know, letting everything start over natural. You know what I'm saying? Now, no, 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 no. I'm a big fan of wigs and weaves and shit like that. So, you know what I'm saying? Kudos to those who 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 wear the natural look. And now, now, if you you fool with me up under here, I'm looking like set it off. You know what I'm saying? You know, Queen Latifah with the braids and shit going on. But I'm just saying, kudos to those who represent, you know, the natural look, the fro. You know what I'm saying? Kudos to y'all. You know what I'm saying? But my hat goes off to Tony. If, I mean, not Tony. My hat goes off to Tamar if she feels that um, that's something that she needed to do. You know what I'm saying? Without being judged. I'm not judging you. You know what I'm saying? Because we all come to a point in our life where we make changes to our uh, appearance uh, to better ourselves in whatever way that is. Whatever that way that is. We don't have to answer to nobody. We don't have to explain that shit to nobody. You do what you want to do for you. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. So I'm just saying, uh, kudos to her for that, you know. And if she feels like as if that um, that's gonna help her change for the better, good luck, good luck on your journey, uh, Tamar. Good luck on your journey. I wish you well. Um, but me, I'm just gonna tell you right now, Mia will continue to support the wig and weave industry. I'm just saying, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. And for those of you who are too, kudos to you. You know what I'm saying. I'm just saying, I like versatility. And uh, Mia will continue to support them. I am so sorry. We all support something. And Mia is a supporter of the wig and weave industry. Can you hear me now? I'm just saying. Can you hear me now? Okay. And, and, and you know, I want to give a little prayer. Well, I don't want to give a little prayer. I don't want to say that. I just want to take a, a moment of silence. And that moment was for... For the young lady who won the, um, you know, the drawing that I had. The drawing that I had, the young lady, I don't want to say her name. Some people like to remain private. You know, I said it when I drew her name, so I'm not going to say it again. But the young lady who, whose name I pulled in the drawing, you know, and for those who've been on the live, probably know exactly who I'm talking about. And if you don't, go back. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not going to say her name again. But I want to give her a moment of silence because the young lady who won the prize she um, wrote me a long little um, um, letter in my um, Southern um, Southern Touch email 
box to inform me that she received a gift. She was very thankful. She hasn't had time to take any pictures or anything of that nature. And I told her she didn't have to be in a hurry. I just wanted to make sure she got the gift. She informed me that she did. And she was very appreciative. Also, she suffered a death in her family. Now, I'm not going to say what type, what type of death because that's not my place. She just informed me that she had a death in the family. And I told her my thoughts and prayers go out to her and her family. I, that just goes to show us that, you know, I don't know why I'm put here on this platform. But I know I like what I do. I know I like reaching y'all. I know I like talking to y'all. I know I like laughing with y'all, joking with y'all. And it's, it's a precious thing when you can do that with people. But you can't. You know what I'm saying? Lose sight of what we're here for. You know what I'm saying? Time is very important. We don't know. We don't know. I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. I don't know what's going to happen today. So while we're here, let's, you know what I'm saying, give thanks for why we're here today. Today. Because tomorrow ain't promised to neither one of us. So I, I just wanted to say that. Let's, you know, let's have a moment of silence for her. That's why I paused. Let's pray for her and her family. She suffered a death. I didn't know that was going to happen. You didn't know it was going to happen. But you know what I'm saying? I'm glad that my gift reached her at a time, you know, that she was feeling down. So I just want to say, you know, we're all here for you. We're praying for you. And I'm not going to say her name again. And I didn't say it now, and I'm not going to say it. So, you know, my, my thoughts and prayers go out to you. I mean, that's sincerely. My thoughts and prayers go out to you. So um, each moment, I know we get on here, we laugh, we talk smack, we have a good time. But also we got to be serious because serious things do happen to people, including me. Okay, and I'm not cooking today. Mia got to get her ass out here and get a a, a new refrigerator. Uh, the one I had, them clunked out, you know. So, <laughs> Mia probably going to have to wait till the weekend to go out and search for a refrigerator. On a budget, you know. Any coupons, y'all mail them to me. Shit, y'all know this about to be honey. You asking Mia to dip into them pockets and pull out something. Now, I'm going to get a refrigerator, you know what I'm saying? But I'm looking for them coupons, too. I don't care what y'all say. I don't care what y'all. I ain't trying to impress none of y'all. Shit, me always on the budget. You know, that's just the way I roll. But I had to come on here and talk about that Bow Wow. You know what I'm saying? You know, that shit didn't go down the way. I don't care what y'all say. Y'all can take it for what it's worth. That shit didn't go down the way they saying it went down. You know what I'm saying? That didn't happen. And the girl who was tweeting about it, she just didn't tweet because she didn't have enough she ain't have enough followers, you know what I'm saying? But you put me in the search engine, you, and you'll see. Bow wow. Yeah, we saw it. You, we saw your ass got knocked out. That's what we saw. Y'all have a good day. That's what we saw. That, that was the joke of the day. And then it's a dude on uh it's a dude on Instagram named Roscoe. I think I saw his name, Roscoe. Roscoe in there like, hey, hey, hey. You know what I'm saying? He on that smoke. Yeah, hey, yeah. Hey, you need to go back to the gym. You need to go back to the gym. You know what I'm saying? You ain't ready. You ain't ready. You know, just what did you say about Future that made one of his goons want to knock you out? What did you say? Did you say something related to that uh, baby mama situation? Because I figured that was over with. But what did you say to make somebody just want to KO your ass? You know what I'm saying about why? You might want to take a step back. You might want to take a step back. Because I'm telling you, these boys out here ain't playing with you about why. Them days are over with. Them days are over. You better take a seat. You better take a seat because they're not playing with you. Bow Wow, I think your reign is over. Everybody, y'all have a good day. Y'all leave me y'all comment at the bottom and tell me what y'all think about that Bow Wow situation. Send your condolences to the young lady. You ain't got to know who it is. Just say, I'm sending you my condolences. My prayers and thoughts are with you and your family at a time of need. That's all you got to say. You ain't got to go into all that knowing people business. You know what I'm saying? Don't put everybody business out here in these streets. Put everybody business out here in these streets. Bow Wow Biz, y'all can put Bow Wow Biz out there because it's everywhere. Everybody laugh about that shit. Everybody. Tamar, kudos to you. Tamar, kudos to you. Kudos to you. Good job. Kudos to you. You know what I'm saying? I wish you well on your journey. You know what I'm saying? Mia's going to keep supporting the wig and weave industry. Y'all take it easy. Have a great day. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Blessings to all.